so in the last episode, we tamed up this beautiful bat right here, and we had a very divided comment section. Everybody wanted me to call it Morbius, even though I said I wouldn't. Now, guys, I know Morbius is the greatest cinematic experience since Shrek 2, but hear me out. Let's call it Plasma instead. I actually really like this suggestion. It makes a little bit more sense. I don't want to name it Morbius. It's going to be a dead meme in like two weeks. Hopefully, unless Sony puts it back into cinemas and, <laughs> and loses money again. <laughs> I haven't even seen the movie, by the way, even though actually I, I do. I do realize there was like a uh, I think like a gift going around that is like the whole movie or something. I, I can't remember. I saw something about that anyway. Yeah. So uh, real quick, I got to show you something on my hot bar, but uh, also check this out. I just put my other bat up here. He's probably going to fall as soon as um, I like restart the server or something like that. But uh, he hasn't fallen, even though I've left the area which is pretty good. Uh, so obviously, yeah, you, you may see this on my hot bar. I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip real quick. All right, so I was just flying around in my little Desmodus right here, and look at that. Amazing. Okay, I wanted to at least get a clip of that because you know there will be some naysayers if I don't. So there we go. That's awesome, though. The loot on this map is actually quite good. And then I also killed an Alpha Raptor, and here's that clip. Even though I can't get headshots on this dude, this rifle is still pretty amazing, actually. All right, I gotta go find a rune before I fully kill this thing. It's a 162. I can't waste that XP. I think there's one at this little bridge up here, though. Yeah, there it is. Nice. 15 out of 200. Not bad. Okay. Hey, there we go. Nice. Did we get anything? Did we not get... Okay, wait. Yeah, maybe it just didn't go in. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, why did I grab that terrible pickaxe? <laughs> Alright, perfect. Amazing! How many levels? 22? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I might want to go for some, some more health. Definitely feel like I need that. Uh, and then let's pump the rest into melee. There we go. Nice. And we got a bunch of blood from that as well. All right, so for today's video, we're going to be heading out back over to the Aberration Cave, which I think is underneath this peak over here. If it actually is, that's a good little guess. You know what? I don't think it is, actually. Wait, no, it's all the way over in this direction. I get very confused. Yeah, it, it's like close to that island. Hello, is that an Alpha Rex? <gasps> Level 54, that's kind of terrifying. And look, a normal size Rex beside it. Amazing. Uh, okay, I thought I just saw a beaver dance there for a second. So I'm trying to understand the flying on the uh, the Desmodus, which, by the way, uh, thanks for all the support on that video. I mean, like, goddamn, I looked at my uh, stats this morning, and it's not passing at number, like, episode number one in terms of, like, you know, views per minute or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's number two, baby. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to actually use this dude. People are giving me suggestions. I'm trying to like figure out this like speed boost. So I'm 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 aiming down and I'm getting the little speed buff going down and then I'm hitting X and kind of going forward. Okay, I got to do it correctly to actually show you. So here we go. And then we're going to turn forward and then I'm going to hit X and I'm kind of I can't make it happen. God damn it. Can you just do it? Kind of like that, I guess. Let me see. I don't really know. I'm trying to understand it, but it looks like we're getting a little speed buff and then I'm keeping it when I'm like hitting X to go up so X is up C is down and there we go also you can go ahead and uh, like wait here let me let me show you you can go ahead and go like left and right as you're going down it's pretty cool here one sec and I'm hitting like like that is right right there <laughs> I almost said left oh man so yeah I don't know it's, it's, these guys are pretty cool but like there's some sort of thing with their movement that I need to try and understand it and figure that out and get that right but like it's pretty cool that you can kind of go left and right as you're dive bombing almost anyway this is where I want to go I want to go in here and we can go I think we can go invisible in here right maybe it's only at nighttime I know that you can go invisible when you're latched but can you do it in caves no here's the thing I don't have cave flyers enabled these guys can just go into any cave which is kind of insane I really hope they can't go through the tech cave. Like, that should not be allowed. <laughs> but apparently they can go into any cave and fly within them, which kind of makes sense. They are a bat. It, it makes a little bit of sense. So, yeah. Um, all right. I'm in here because I want to try and grab some drops. And, in fact, let's go ahead and let out a screech to see if we can find some Pelavias. Uh, we got one out of the ground there. And that is a small creature there, whatever that is. That's a seeker. Okay, well, we do have a Megalosaur here. I don't really want to fight that, but I don't see any Palavias in the ground. I don't know if it actually tells you when they are in the ground. It does with, like, a Parasaur. 
Um, but yeah, that other one over there wasn't in the ground. Let me go ahead and land down and grab this drop. I don't know. These guys are pretty amazing, honestly. Like, it's uh, it's kind of crazy that you can go ahead and just fly inside of caves and all of the other stuff that they can do. It's definitely a great creature. By the way, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does uh, help out. I do appreciate it as well. Um, we're doing a couple extra videos lately, I know, but uh, soon enough, we'll kind of go back to the normal schedule of like, well, normal schedule with a new series. Oh, hello, with a new series, um, which will mean we'll have like daily videos on the new series, but probably not on Mondays because I usually like to take Sundays off. Uh, just so I can have some actual time to myself to do other stuff. Like, I, I really need to paint the gates on the side of my house, and I, I need to get that done soon. Anyway, that's enough adulting talk. Uh, there's another drop area in here, and I think it's over here. And there we go. We have a red drop right there. So I've seen only yellow drops in that spot over there. And then this spot, I guess, is the red drop spot. And we've got a rune right here, which I didn't even grab before. I don't think I have actually been over this side, though, fully. Um, I'm going to need to go ahead and kill these guys. Huh. All right, let's see. Let's try and do this. You can actually pick up Ravagers with these dudes, which is kind of insane. So the little lifesteal thing right beside my hotbar there, um, that is actually the creature's health from what I'm understanding. And um, yeah, you can kind of actually use that to see how much health a creature has if you're wanting to tame it, I guess, which is pretty cool. But also if you're killing stuff, it's pretty useful as well. Probably way more useful on PvP where you can just see how much health a player has and you can see, you know, how close they are to, to death and everything. Um, so yeah, that's obviously super useful. Uh, so we're doing like that three damage all the time and then obviously I'm hitting it, so I'm doing extra damage on top. And um, yeah, I guess apparently it's just, it's healing my creature. I, I think you have to eat the corpse after or something. Still don't completely understand that, but uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. These are new creatures and stuff, so it takes a little while. This is great though, like these guys aren't able to hit me provided that I don't land. Oh my God, there's so many of them, I've just noticed. You guys see that? There's legitimately like six more. No, seven. Why is there so many Ravagers in here? That's not okay. Why is there so many? That's actually kind of worrying. All right, I got to kill all of these. Oh, <laughs> you tried to get me, you sneaky son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I could land down and try and kill them that way, but that's probably not a good idea. Um, they are going to swarm me and they're going to bleed me out before I can bleed them out. And. You know, this guy likes blood. He doesn't like losing his own blood. So, yeah. Um, all right, I'm just going to work through all these dudes. That sounds wrong. Are there more Ravagers appearing? Where did you come from? Is this like a Ravager spawner or something? <laughs> I wonder how many levels I have from just killing all these dudes with the Explore Note buff. Like, that's kind of insane. Probably a good few. All right, two more. Two more. All right, and there we go. Amazing. Now, let me see. Imagine if I... Oh! Okay! Holy crap. Okay, I cannot afford that anytime soon, but we can get that at some point. Dude, the freaking loot on this map is amazing. What on earth? Like, it's so good. It really is. Let me just shoot out a screech here so there's no Pralavias. Uh, I think we're good, right? We got one, right? How does the screech actually work? Like, does it scare creatures away? I thought it was supposed to. I don't really know. Anyway, um, let's try. Okay, yeah, they probably don't really have much stuff on them, if anything. Uh, let's get out of here. I want to, uh, I want to get back while I have this explore note buff because I do have a crap ton of spoilt meat, obviously, from this dude, and a bunch of berries, uh, that I have ready to craft up. Let's see. Do we have any secret creatures around here anywhere? Doesn't really look like it. I love these dudes, man. They're so cool. All right. Oh, more ravagers right there. Oh man, they're everywhere. So yeah, uh, we can come down to this cave all the time and just try to grab those drops. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit tricky if there's a bunch of Ravagers, but maybe I can like lead them away instead of having to fight them all the time. Uh, let me show you the coordinates of this spot right here. We are at, what is that, 57-ish, 85-ish, uh, and you're right across from Red Ob. And this little island out here is pretty easy to spot. You know what? People always ask me to show the map at the same time. Um, I guess... That kind of helps some people, but yeah, there we are. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show this off earlier. So I placed down some gates. It's really hard to get the exact center of this little, like, this little doorway area, but it looks pretty good. Um, and obviously up top, it doesn't look too bad either. Um, it kind of has to stick out at some place, but yeah, it's not terrible. Over here as well, um, this one's even more off center. It's really hard to do it. I don't know why, I'm just not capable of actually getting the very center. You see, like, you have to place the frame first, and then you have to line the center of the frame up somehow 
with this it's just too much of a headache to do just freehand like that i do really like the placement of this small gate over here this looks amazing i almost completely got it in the center but yeah check this out it looks even better on this side because like the whole i think the whole gate is just hidden in the wall which is great so let's go ahead and uh do that Oh man, Plasma is a great name for a freaking dude here. By the way, that in case anybody doesn't understand, it's uh, to do with blood plasma, I would imagine. I mean, yeah, that was like a lot of people's suggestions were things to do with blood and stuff. So uh, yeah, there we go. Let's do that. And while we still have this Explore Note buff, I need to go ahead and hit craft on all of these. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, so 700 coming. Wow, okay. So we have that. Uh, I know I have a little bit of gunpowder that we can make in here as well. I want to go ahead and try to team up some creatures here today because we have the elixirs. Well, at least we can use them, which is great. I have one in here that's got a three hours, 10 minutes on it. I've got so much blood, which is great. So we're going to need probably like, a, 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 I guess its own fridge for the blood. Uh, actually, one thing I do want to mention, I did look this up on the wiki to see if there's anything else that I'm missing with it. And it is saying that it, it can be put into a preserving bin you know what in fact let's try it so this is an s plus one and i feel like maybe it's not working properly or else the wiki's wrong i'm not exactly certain sometimes you know when this new stuff comes out some people put information in that might not be 100 percent correct i'm not saying all the wiki's wrong because people for some reason think that i mean that all the time which i definitely don't uh, i appreciate the work that is put into the wiki but sometimes some things can be wrong not everything is 100 percent correct but it's not, you know, reason to doubt absolutely everything. Let's see. Does this actually work? Uh, no, it doesn't give any extra time. So the wiki is wrong on that. Unless I read it wrong, in which case I would be wrong. Anyway, um, I guess I'll turn this into an S plus one later. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're crafting up all this stuff here. Um, I want to try and make up some trank darts as well. Um, I'm really struggling in terms of actual gunpowder. So I should probably go out and try to get some more, um flint and stuff like that do i actually do i have any more wood cooking anywhere i have a little bit in here i should probably fill up my fireplace up here because that is a great source of charcoal that is completely empty yeah i think i took all that stuff out oh god that's weird that that's kind of unsettling <laughs> interesting all right let's uh let's... <laughs> it's not even like shove through the ceiling extra i think that's just kind of how they are very strange anyway yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff made and uh, i'll catch you in a little bit that shotgun is really good though i'm so excited to craft that and the sword in fact actually we'll try and maybe get some crafting skill on them that could be a good idea all right so we don't really have a huge amount of darts but it should work for the moment i do have lots of trank arrows so we should be able to knock out whatever i'm going for which is mainly just going to be kind of utility dinos now actually one more thing oh can we even make it hmm let me let me see how much this thing costs i want to make a harpoon gun because we can make nets uh har there we go do i have enough metal for that probably not Ah. Oh. oh wait no i do but i just need polymer okay um you are going to run out of gas i gotta fill this up at some point uh where the hell's the polymer there it is okay so we need 30 polymer and i think Hang on, what do nets cost? The nets cost four polymer each. So if I make 50, that means I'll be able to make uh, five nets. There we go, nice. Okay, um, and then we should have enough metal for this, right? How much metal do I have in total? Where the hell's the rest of my metal? Uh, we got 25 ingots in there. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that. Scrap metal, yeah, that's probably making up the rest of it. Okay, so that's not a huge amount of metal. I should probably go out and get some as well pretty soon you know what we can leave that for the moment if i can just make one or two nets that would be useful so harpoon gun nice and there we go Let's see about making some nets now just type in 100 i know i'm not gonna be able to craft that many Ooh. wait what do i not have any oh they cost 12 metal wow that's expensive oh i only have one ingot no no i i should have enough maybe it's because i'm in this inventory it's not allowing me to pull that stuff that's probably why am i missing fiber what do i not have much fiber oh you know what i actually might not uh damn i guess i don't have a, much fiber left let's just quickly grab some seriously out of all things to run out of there's my sickle i went around and collected tons when we were building up the house but uh yeah i i don't know i guess we just used it all how the hell did i manage that one honestly i have no idea okay so we should be able to make up two nets good enough for the moment 
<laughs> obviously it would be great to have more of them but it, it's fine it's fine um <laughs> let's see i don't even have anywhere to put you let's put you there we don't technically need uh grappling hooks right now and there we go I kind of hate how that net engram is still locked behind Genesis Part 2. Obviously, in this series, we have all the engrams unlockable. I don't like playing without at least being able to use some of these cool items from other maps. And to be honest, they also messed up with some of the engrams on here at the very start. And I think they're only recently available on official because they weren't at the very start and tons of people were complaining. But um, yeah, so all right, we're looking for Ankies. We're looking for Dodix. Maybe a Mammoth at some point? Maybe we could wait on that one. Definitely a Dodic, though, because I need to be able to grab up some stone a lot easier. And we got a Dodic over here. Are you a good level, though? Oh, okay. The first one I look at is a good level. Damn. All right. I'll tame that one. Sure. Now, the only thing is I can't, I can't pick it up with this dude. At least I don't think I can, right? Yeah, it, it doesn't work. That's kind of unfortunate. But you know what? I mean, this bat picking up a big-ass creature like that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense um all right i gotta deal with this with this rex right here you know what oh yeah yeah let's uh let's do this <laughs> let's uh go ahead and just mow it down real quick let me pick you up nice and uh here we go <laughs> this is uh just some decent damage it could do better damage for sure but um, we can get some better saddles to these dudes at some point. I've just got like a primitive one that I crafted myself. You can indeed get better saddles from uh, drops and stuff like that, which is great. Um, in some of our testing videos, we also got them from, uh, what do you call them? Do, do, the world bosses. We got it from Bela, right? I think. I think we got like an apprentice one or something. All right. Well, you know what? I could probably lead this thing back towards my base. That could potentially be a good idea, actually. Hmm. Can the creatures get up here? I don't think so. Yeah, I could probably lead you all the way back up. Let's uh, just start tranking it then. Let's trank it with the crossbow for the moment. So Dodex have a good amount of Torpor. In fact, let me check you before we do anything. Yeah, 8,000. Boom. All right. So we just got to lead it all the way back up to my base, potentially, and we could just tape it inside of there. It makes a lot more sense to do it that way instead of trying to keep it safe out here. And like, we're right beside base as well, which is great. Just gotta watch out for other creatures around here. I do have um, plasma on my uh, on my bar just in case though. Oh, in case you're curious about the crossbow, this isn't like a modded crossbow, it's just a skin on a crossbow from a mod. Just wanna make that one clear because I keep seeing people asking what weapon mod I'm using. <laughs> okay, that Alpha Carno is very close, but we should be able to just squeeze by here without being spotted hopefully we'll see <laughs> we're very close though oh is he already running from me oh no wait is he torpor running already there's no way really hang on i've only shot you like a handful of times wait what where the hell did all your torpor gone what does this not do torpor wait what oh uh, that doesn't make any sense is it the skin what how? <laughs> that makes no sense. Wait, I think it's the skin that's messing it up. I gotta tell Nekatus about this. In fact, I know he watches the videos, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I noticed. Oh, uh, you know what? Ah, no, <laughs> damn it. We gotta get the magnifying glass on the bar. That's hilarious. I can't believe it. It doesn't do torpor. <laughs> I guess it like kind of messes up the arrows or something. Uh, but yeah, there's a bug for you. Very strange one indeed. Oh crap, I was trying to check it after. Yeah, okay. Hitting it just a couple times is already, you know, really uh, torporing it. I don't know, that's super weird though. I've never seen that happen before with like a modded skin. Very strange. All right, well, we're pretty much home free. It's right there. Oh, we got a yellow drop. I want to go grab that after. I don't think I want to shoot this dude anymore unless he tries to... Oh, yeah. Okay, he's already... No! Oh, stop, 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 stop. What are you... No, no, no. You're not Torpor running already. I know you're not. You can't be. Yeah. Uh, buddy. Hey. Come here. You're definitely not Torpor running. Stop pretending. Come on. No. <laughs> no. Go, go, go that way. Is he... Is he chasing me now? No, he is not. Dude, stop. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. You're not Torpor running. Run up there. <laughs> he doesn't like the castle. I swear there's no weird dungeon, okay? 
All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to knock him out here. Like he's not, uh... oh, maybe now? Hey, there we go. No, no, okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna knock him out here. I don't wanna have to deal with this. <laughs> Let's, uh, we're good over here, right? Yeah, we're, we're good. Um, just attempt to knock him out right here. Is he still chasing me? Oh, he is. Oh my God, dude. Why didn't you like turn around and follow me over here? Okay, maybe I will try to get him up. It would be safer, because, like, there's a lot of bad things around here. Oh, I was trying to trigger the attack so I could go in and check. Okay, we're fine. I can get hit a couple times. Although, no, I can't, because I don't have the metal to fix all my armor. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of curious. If I did go ahead and tame up an Equus, could I drag the Dodic using lassos? Hmm. Could be a thing. I will actually go back over and tame up that unicorn that we saw in the last episode, by the way. We'll probably do that after we do this. A lot of people were mad at me because I didn't tame it up and I completely forgot about it. Oh, by the way, I did also change my beard. I, I needed to go back to the regular one. It, it it doesn't look right. If it doesn't, if it's not this exact, you know, haircut, then it doesn't look right. Uh, buddy. Yeah, he hates the castle. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to knock him out here if I can. Okay, now, is he coming now? I have no idea what this thing's doing. It looks like, okay. Yeah, you lead the way then. Oh! No, 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 no. We're okay. Okay. <laughs> I come, I can't, whoa, he, he came down after me. I kind of just panicked there for a second. I forgot I had a glide suit on me. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> that was uh unexpected to say the least. All right, we're, we're fine. I, I should probably get some blood packs though, just for when I mess up like that. <laughs> Let's do that. Nice. All right, down here should be fine. Or if I can... Oh, I have this entrance up here. I forgot about this. Come here, buddy. Yeah, the big scary gate is what he doesn't like. He's, he likes this one, though, I think. And he's still coming, so I would assume so. All right, I'm just going to remove the actual gate itself. No! Come on! <laughs> Don't do this to me. What are you doing? Don't do this. Okay, are you coming after me? Ah, oh, buddy. All right, yeah, it's fine. We're just gonna knock him out here again. I know I keep saying that, but I keep thinking that we can get him in there. But he's just a temperamental little turd. Is he running at me right now? I can't even tell. No, he's not. Hey, he's out. Okay, we're good. <sighs> All right, uh, why did I take out my spyglass? So, um, let's go grab some berries and then we can test out a sanguine elixir on this dude. I think I have... Where's my trough? It's over here. I think I have a bunch of Medja Berries in here, so I might not actually need to grab any. Although I do need to go grab the Elixir. Uh, yeah, we got tons. That's more than enough. Oh, and let's do that. Yeah, I guess we started taming up a Feared Hawk randomly. He was probably eating some stuff while I was getting uh, blood with the with the bat. Where am I going? Over here. All right, bunch of food into there. Now, do I use this beside it or in it? Okay, I obviously use it beside it, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom. 30, okay, well, it already went up by 1%, but 30%, nice. Damn, that is awesome. And they're so cheap. Like, 200 blood packs is nothing to get. It is literally nothing. You could easily collect that in, like, two minutes if you have a bat. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I hope they don't nerf it, but they easily could. <laughs> Although, at the same time, like, that is such a cool QOL item. I don't know. I, I I truly think that they should keep it this way, but at the same time, might be a bit ridiculous. But 30% is amazing, man. Like, that's awesome. I love that. I think my only kind of disappointment when they do add cool items like this is that it's only available on this map. Well, you know, technically it's available on other maps, but you'd need to get a bat and bring it there. And not everybody plays on all maps, and not everybody would want to come here and tame bats and stuff. So that's my only issue when they add these cool items, you know, it's uh, it's locked to a map pretty much. And actually, I don't know if you can take the creatures off this map right now on official. I think you, maybe you can. I don't really know how they do all that stuff. Um, I obviously don't play on official. I don't know whether or not I want to actually set up some spikes around that dude. I probably should. Yeah, let's uh, let's just make some real quick. Although, do I even have enough stuff to make them? Probably not enough wood. I guess I'll grab everything that I need and um. And then we can go out and collect the wood. Let's just do a little test and see if there's anything around here. Anything hidden? Doesn't really look like it. 
Oh, you can get silk from these. These little, like, reeds beside the water. I had no idea. All right, that should be good. I can't really see anything walking across this bridge and falling down, so I'm hoping that nothing like that happens, but we'll see. Um, what on earth? How the, where are they coming from? No! Where did they come from? <laughs> What? How did they get in? There's no way in. They spawned inside my base. That makes no sense. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man, like... Uh, I'm trying to fix up my stuff so we can, so we can do things and, and, and we just get attacked? I don't even, I'm kind of afraid to even look out here. There's like a whole pack of raptors just got in somehow, but they couldn't have because that gate is locked over there. The, the, all these gates are locked. They're not walking in. They're spawning in here. How do I stop that? I have structures placed. No, go away. <laughs> if we just close the window, they don't exist. That's bull though. That is such bull. Like I heard a raptor attacking. I thought it was just one. I didn't think it was a whole like pack of them. God damn, dude, that is so silly. Um, uh, how do I even like, I, I, I don't want to walk out my front door. Like I don't want to get that elf raptor over here cause he's just going to start tearing my base apart. I think our best bet is to maybe just pull off this roof here if I can. I don't want to pull that one off cause that one's got like weird snap points. Uh, there we go. We'll just exit here on plasma and try to deal with this. I have no idea where they came from. Like they literally just spawned in here. That is, that's kind of crap. Now I have been seeing people saying like, oh, like I had Alpha X spot in my base and stuff. Th that is such bull. Like this, this should not happen. Like structures right here, structures all over the place. Not to mention feeding trough. Like what else do I have to do to stop them from spawning? We got a well over here. It's nothing sacred. <laughs> I don't even understand. What level? Oh, that's not my spyglass. What level is this thing? I'm kind of glad that I didn't bring that freaking Dodic in now. It's only, oh, okay. No, it's a level 114. Okay. Are you actually kidding me? This is ridiculous. You know what? We have the, ah, oh! okay. I almost flew off. We have the Andrew Sarkis. Let me try it. We got like 88 bullets left. Okay. There's the alpha. Um, I don't really know what to do here. Like I, I want to be able to hit it, but like, okay, let's just shoot it just a little bit. Just try and get its attention. And then at this point, we might be able to like trap it against the side there and like headshot it. Or maybe not. Or maybe it's going to get up these stairs. That would be bad. Um, this is not my base anymore, guys. <laughs> eh, this angle is kind of difficult. I need it to like stay still. Oh, okay. Well, we're not getting headshots, but it's fine. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm hitting the alpha. I'm hitting something. Yeah. Not great. Get out of here, turd. All right, we're out of bullets. <laughs> Okay, uh, pick you up. We just gotta long neck it, I guess. And then we can use, um, plasma at the end, but like, god damn, dude, that is so silly. Or maybe we can just use plasma in general. We can fly above it. We'll be fine. So silly, though. <laughs> well, rip Poe, I mean, it's okay. We did also pick up two level 180 eggs at the end of the last episode, so we're kind of, we're kind of good, but still upsetting but yeah these guys just spawned in here that's not fair like what how do i stop that like having creatures around hasn't stopped it at all so far i don't really understand oh man wait i gotta test this can you yeah i don't think you can pick them up that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense but sometimes when they add new things you know n not all of the game code is perfect like when we were able to net these dudes at the very start and there we go nice oh seriously that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least I have a good video title. <laughs> uh, Rip Poe, though. Uh, you need to heal. And thank you very much, Alpha Raptor, for all that blood. Giving me all these elixirs that I can craft up now. Let's pump that up. Yeah, this one over here is Poe. And it did damage my house. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no. Okay. I was looking at the 15,000 on the foundation there, and I was like, wait, this is down to 9,000? No, we're, we're good. It's only slightly damaged, but yeah. Rip po, that is, um... That's quite sad. Okay, your saddle can go in there for the moment, bud. So far, we have 42 rune stones, enough to do one world boss, but I don't think we're quite ready. Although, judging by what we got today, if we can tame a Megatherium, we might be ready to take on Bela, which is the B boss. And I would assume Megatheriums are good because it's a chitin creature and it spawns in minions, which will give us our buff and all that good stuff. So yeah, we should be able to use... Um, a megatherium against it we'll do that at some point obviously we're not anywhere near being able to do that right now but eventually let me go ahead and fix my roof <laughs> just like escaping through my roof on a bat it's the weirdest thing ever and i can't forget to go over here and grab my pick and my hatchet and how are you doing doing good you're probably gonna need some uh narcotic pretty soon though yep and a bunch of stone now I can't move because I have everything else on me. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to uh, get a bunch of Denonicus hatched up and just put them in here on aggressive, you know? I don't want to put them on wonder because they could potentially run through the walls, which is obviously not preferable. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can kind of sort out this situation a little bit. I mean, like, I just don't understand how they're spawning in here. Like, we have structures around. Usually they don't spawn right in between structures very very strange you know what i'll grab that um you are gonna need some narco berries okay uh we'll probably get like 200 that should be enough the best part about feeding narco berries is that they release their torpor a lot slower than narcotic does so it's kind of more of just not really trying to fill up the bar but just trying to stop it from going back down even further i mean this obviously will fill up the bar a good a, a good bit as well but still that's why you want to use, like, narco berries on creatures that drop Torpor really fast. Like, there is Enos. I remember back in the day, oh my god, when those things were first introduced, they were a nightmare to tame. You had to use narco berries. It was, like, the only way to, you know, be able to continue to tame one. Because they, uh, they drop Torpor very, very quick. But yeah, this will keep this thing down. I mean, he didn't even need this much. It's fine. But there we go. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. Um, the Dodix taming, um, we lost Poe. <laughs> We need to fix the base a little bit, and I need to figure something out in here. I mean, we can potentially do the the Denonicus here, which would be great, but I don't know. Like, it just it's really weird how they're spawning inside of here. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Do I have to build stuff everywhere? Maybe. I don't know. There could also be, you know, maybe I'm just not thinking of something specific that could maybe stop this. I don't really, I don't really know. Drop your solutions down below. Um, We'll figure something out. Holy crap, though. Look at all this freaking blood. I could start my own blood bank here. We got three elixirs. We got we can make nine elixirs here. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably, probably, you know, be able to continue to use those for whatever we want. To be honest, keeping them in blood form would be a lot better, actually. How long does that last? That lasts... Yeah, these last pretty much the same amount of time as an actual elixir so actually they it looks like they might last five hours good okay so yeah you want to keep them in blood form and then turn them into elixirs whenever you want in fact what we could probably do is just have an area where we have like a fridge put the blood in there and then just have a desmodus with the saddle beside it you need the saddles on them they can't craft them without it but um yeah we could just have like a dedicated desmodus to make up elixirs for us that could work. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I think we're probably going to call it a day here, guys. Uh, <laughs> we didn't really get as many creatures tamed as I wanted to, but we did get that Dodek knocked out. We did get some really cool weapons and other things. Did you guys just see what he did right there? <laughs> what was that animation? Looked like he was, like, licking the grass from where I was. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, that is it for today, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.